Here we are at Avani Ramalingeshwara temple. The main part of the temple supposed to have been built in 10 CE, that is uh, 2010 years ago. But the core of the temple must be much older because this was a temple established after Rama's foray into Sri Lanka to retrieve uh, Sita and also in the process the killing of Ravana happened. On the way back, they probably rested here and the local people built this temple and uh, there is one temple for each one of them, one for Rama, one for uh, Lakshmana, one for… right now what you see here is Lakshmana Linga Lingeshwara, the one for Sita, one for Kshatrugna. The victorious team coming back from the battle, they must have rested here and uh, it is also said or at least the local people believe that uh, Sita could have delivered Lava and Kusha here, there is a separate space where it is recognized as the birthplace of Lava and Kusha. So, uh, that's a legend, but here we have a fantastic temple and a ASI, reasonably clean and well, but not alive as it should be, though the main deity is still wonderful, uh, much more needs to be done. As you can see, keeping the temple standing is not the only purpose, having the temple reverberate is the most important thing. The stone part of the temple is reasonably in good condition, but up there, whatever was built by brick and lime is in a bad state, though it is in the hands of… Uh, though it is in the control of uh, Archaeological Survey of India. We must understand Archaeological Survey of India is uh, full of archaeologists. They know how to preserve monuments, they've done a great job in our country at various levels, but definitely they are not uh, either equipped or qualified to maintain a living temple.